What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Although I gotta be honest, today's Quick Tip Tuesday is not gonna be that quick, but it is an awesome feature here that I just found in DaVinci Resolve 17 that I think a lot of people are gonna love. So uh, why don't you tell them about what the new feature is? You sure? Okay. So this new feature here is called Video Collage. So I was up at like five o'clock this morning just messing around DaVinci Resolve, happened to stumble on this thing called Video Collage. This is way cool. I've had a lot of people asking for this. So uh, why don't you tell them a little bit more about uh, what it is? Sure, yeah. I'd be happy to. So video collage is basically taking a whole bunch of frames like you're looking at right now on the screen. There should be six of me here and we should all be saying a little something. I'm gonna show you how you can make that super easy. And it used to take a little bit of working around and took some time to kind of put all these things together. Well, now they added in an effect that makes it super easy and that's what we're gonna be checking out today. Yo, yo, oh man, wait for me, wait for me. Yo, did I miss it? Did I miss it? Did I get here in time? Sorry, I'm a little late here. Uh, you know, I had some things to take care of. You know what I mean? I <laughs> got work to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't jump in a video all the time. So, uh, well, hopefully I made it here on time. No, so what are you gonna do? But I'm here to tell you this tip is gonna be awesome, and you're gonna no, love it. It's cold so. in here. Is anybody else cold in here? It's a little chilly, huh? It's a little chilly. Sorry, are you guys, guys sorry. cold? Carry on. So you might be thinking, why would I want to use this tip? Well, maybe you've got a whole bunch of musicians you recorded. You want to put them all on the screen together. Maybe. Uh, you have some kind of call or conference call or something and kind of like how a zoom call puts everybody on the screen well this effect is going to accomplish the same thing for you so you're going to be able to get a look exactly like you got on the screen here which is pretty cool and it's super easy and there's a few different ways we can do it which is why this is going to be a little bit longer than a normal quick tip tuesday hey could you hurry up a little bit come on let's get to the video all right man i gotta go i'm out of here so let's get into the video. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we are gonna create this right here. So I'm gonna take you through step by step and show you a few different ways that you can do it. Uh, but we have an effect right here in DaVinci Resolve now that allows us to do this super easy and super quick. So to find the effect, you wanna come up to your effects library. You're gonna click on that, open that up. You wanna come down to your open effects and filters, scroll all the way to the bottom there. And right here you have the Resolve Transform effects and you have Video Collage. So there's a few different ways that we can use this effect and in no particular order, I'm just gonna show you a few of those ways that you can use this and work with it here. So the first thing I wanna do is, uh, let's say I've got a background here and I wanna have a clip be broken up into different windows on top of my clip. So a little confusing here. Let's just grab our Video Collage and drop it on my textured background that I have here. Now, once I do that, you're gonna see that I have four windows on my screen here, and it's basically masking out this texture so that down here, the video layer that's below it is what I can see in these windows. So this is cool because you can do all kinds of cool effects and you've got lots of options here on how you can change these windows around. So if I click on my texture background here and I come over to my inspector, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And in here, we can click on our effects panel right here, which is new in DaVinci Resolve 17. So right now we're set to create a background with this video collage. What that means is wherever I put it, whatever track I put it on, which is my textured background here, it's gonna use that as a background and then it's gonna make tiles on top of it, which are basically masks, so I can see what is below my textured background clip. So leave this where it is for right now. And if you want to preview where those windows are going to be, you can come right here, preview layout, go ahead and check that on. And now it's going to show you where each one of these are. So what's cool about this method is you can have uh, one track that takes up all the windows, kind of like we have now. So if I turn it off, you see it's just me in the background there. Or I can make a different video appear in each one of these squares. So I'll show you how to do that in a second, but let's just work through the uh, inspector here so you can see what you can do. Again, globals is means it's making global changes. Tiles is you wanna change each individual tile. So when you come down to layout, you've got columns. You can make more columns. You can make more rows if you want. You can do as many as you want. You've got the ability to uh, change them side to side. You can move them vertically. You have a ton of options here. All this can be keyframed, which is awesome. You can, uh, let me just shrink these guys a little bit so we can see the changes better, but you can use the rounding to round out the corners more all the way until you get to a circle. I'm gonna undo that. You've got uh, spacing and margins and all different ways that you can adjust these windows. So not only is it cool to use it just like this and you can break up your images and mask out uh, things you know, like this and just look at you know, one big image, we can also go through and quickly put individual video files into each one of these squares. 
So if we leave it in the background mode, which is right up here again, look at the workflow, it says background mode. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce the uh, number of rows here. Let's just do three. Uh, I'm gonna just double click on these guys to reset them. So you can see if we look in my timeline here, I've got a whole bunch of clips there down below my background. So right now we currently only see the first clip. So let's say I wanted to show the rest of these clips in these squares as well. Well, what I can do is I can come and click on my clip. I can come over here and click on my little transform guy and I can just scale this guy down and push him up into the window and it's going to automatically mask it out. Now with the size of the window I have, I need to you know, make it a little bit bigger and then maybe I'd want to crop in the, uh, you know, the sides a little bit so it's not going into the other squares, but boom, there, we got that one. Now let's say, okay, the next one, I want to shrink that one down into a window. So I'll shrink that down, put it in there, make them a little bit bigger. And what's cool is as you have video layers below our textured background where we drop the effect, we can adjust those and they're gonna fit right inside any of these boxes that we want. So using this method, you do have to, you know, maybe crop in the video a little bit or, you know, make sure these boxes are the same size as your video clips, but not a huge deal. You know, you can get in there and change it how you need to. Before we go all the way back and I show you another method we can work with these here, let's say you wanted to further adjust an individual uh, square here. How do you do that? Well, if we click on our textured background here, and we wanna again come up to our effects here in the inspector. If we come down and we click on tiles, now we've got the ability to work with each one of these tiles a little bit differently. So for this uh, example and just seeing what these different things do, let's just say I don't care about seeing myself. I wanna see where the tiles are, so I'm previewing them. So right here we have tile one, two, three, and four. Now when we look over here at manage tiles, it tells us the active tile, and if we click this drop down says tile one, two, three, and four. So however many tiles you have on your screen here is how many tiles you're gonna have right here. And this allows you to select one of the tiles and edit any one of those by a whole bunch of different things we've got going on here. So let's say, uh, you know, I wanted to work with tile two. When I click on tile two, that one gets highlighted here. And I know that's the one I'm working with. You can send them forward, send them backward. If you had overlapping images, you can come down here, you can uh, turn off or mute tiles, you can do custom shapes, you can do drop shadows, uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Again, you just gotta look through here and see you know, what's there and what kind of things you can do, but everything can be keyframed, you can do so much stuff here. It's awesome and uh, it's super simple once you work with it and start getting the hang of it. So again, you can come and click down to tile three and that's gonna be that tile. So you can go through and adjust any one of them that you may want to. So let's get into another method here, how to work with the tiles. Now in this method, we're not gonna have to go and crop the uh, video clips at all. They're just gonna fall right into the squares, which is gonna work out great. So let's come back to our timeline and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, right click and say, uh, remove attributes. And I'm just gonna select everything. I wanna take it all off. So now we just see my background and I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn off that background because if you wanna use the video collage on a background, similar to how we did, your background needs to be on top. But for this next method, your background actually can be all the way on the bottom. So I have the exact same background on the bottom here. Right now we can't see it, but we will very shortly. So what we're gonna wanna do here is work with our first clip, and then we're gonna actually copy the effect properties from this clip onto all of the other clips. So it helps to have your clips in order, what way you might wanna see them on the screen as far as one, two, three, four, five, six in this case. Although you can work with it anyway, it doesn't matter, but if you can put them in an order uh, that makes sense and how you wanna see them, it might make it a little bit easier, but it can work either way. So let's start with our first clip here. I'm gonna pick on the video collage, drag it and drop it on my clip. Now I'm gonna turn off all the layers underneath there just so it's a little easier for us to start working with the clip here. So now we see that I'm in the background and we've got square uh, masks basically on top of me, which is what we had before. And that's not what we want to do in this case. So click on your clip, come on over to the inspector, click on effects. And now we want to come down to workflow and click on that. And we're going to go create tile. Now this is going to allow us to create a tile and boom, the video just snaps in there. I didn't scale it. I didn't have to do anything to it. It just snaps right in there for us. So this is where you want to set your overall layout. So I know I have six tracks that I want six squares for all of my videos. So in this clip here, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna add uh, one more column and I'm gonna have two rows. 
Now, if I can't see where they are, so how do I know what I'm doing? Again, come back to this preview layout here. Go ahead and click on that. And now we can see where all of our windows are gonna be. So what we wanna do is set up this first clip to be exactly what we want. And we're just gonna copy it and paste on the effect onto our other clips. And that's gonna give everything the same properties and it should all fall right into place for us. So again, you can go through and adjust all these things, the spacing, the margins, all that kind of stuff. You've got options there. And if you want to adjust individual tiles, again, you can come over here to tiles and you can make adjustments here if you want. So let's say I come back to the globals. I want to round out the corners a little bit more, eh, about like that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the preview layout and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the rest of my tracks that I turned off. I'm also gonna turn on the background, which you'll see that that will fall behind all of our images in a second here. So I'm gonna come back to that layer I was just working with that has the effect on it. I'm just gonna select the clip, hit Command or Control C. Then I'm gonna select all of the other clips that I wanna paste this effect on. So the next couple layers down here, I'm gonna select those. And again, as many clips as you have, I'm just doing a few right here, but you can see they extend out. So I would copy it to all of these, but just for uh, you know not killing my machine here, I'm just doing these first couple. So once you have them selected, go ahead and right click on any one of them. Come on up to paste attributes. You're gonna to wanna to come to your video attributes and you don't need all of them. You just need this one called plugins and go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so now it applied that to all of our clips. So now you're thinking, all right, cool. How come I don't see them? Where are they? Where they're supposed to appear over here. So the next step is pretty easy, but you're gonna to have to go through each clip and do this. Our first clip right here, we see it, no problem. Our second clip, we want this to appear in the second window here. So select your clip. Again, come back to the inspector over to effects. Over here, we're still in create tile. Everything should match it as we originally set it up on that first clip. And in this case, we wanna to come to tiles. Now down here, we have manage tiles and we have active tile. So where do we want this particular clip to go? Well, I want it to go to tile two. So I'm gonna go ahead and click tile two and boom, it's gonna snap it right in there for me. Now, how do I know which tiles are numbered which ones? Again, you got your preview layout. Go ahead and click that, turn that on. And there you go. It's gonna show you which tile is which number. So now we're just gonna go through the rest of our tracks and put them in whatever tile we want to see them in. So I'm gonna turn off the preview. And I know I put them in order that I want them to go. So I'm gonna come down, select my next clip here. Again, come over to the inspector, the effects, tiles. Select my active tile, come down to three. And this is how you're gonna be able to sort out all of your windows. And you can do as many as they allow you to create here. Uh, I didn't crank it all the way up. I don't know how many exactly they'll let you do. But then you're gonna go through each clip and just select wherever you want it to appear. So again, just to reiterate, select your clip, come to the inspector to effects, your video collage effect, down to tiles, go ahead and drop that down and pick the one that you want it to be in. And it doesn't have to go in order. You can put them wherever you want. I just think for this example, for me, it worked out pretty good to have them in this order. Again, tiles and down to six. And now you can see I've got all of my windows here. Now, uh, if you wanted to actually change any one of these individual tiles, because your uh, effect is copied down, you would have to change each one of them individually, you know, if you wanted to uh, resize the content or something like that. So there you go. Now you've got your six clips. You didn't have to rescale your clips or worry about any of that kind of stuff. And they just fell right into wherever you created your windows. All right, guys, so this effect is super helpful. I can't tell you how many people I've had over the last year ask me how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. And the fact that they added in this video collage effect, and it's that easy to just drop it in there. I mean, you can even make a template, I'm sure, save it and uh, be able to use it over and over again. And all you have to do is drop it on your clips. You can change your, your tile location where you want it to show up and uh, it's gonna work out pretty good for you. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and uh, anybody else online looking for this kind of thing in DaVinci Resolve, super helpful. Again, I'm running uh, version 17, the beta two. Uh, I'm assuming this was in the beta one, although maybe I just didn't see it. Super cool, super great feature here. Video collage, here is a new effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, next Quick Tip Tuesday will be a quick one. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.